Welcome to Electronic Geek. In this video, we will be starting with multiplexer. So, firstly, we will be discussing what a multiplexer is, how it is different from other components, its use in application in real life, and all those things. So, let's get started. So, multiplexer is basically a kind of an advanced switch, which which gives us an advanced functionality, control, all those things. It is extremely, it is different from SPFT and SPDT kind of switches. Uh, like single pull single throw and single pull double throw so basically mux can be operated in two uh, with two kind of signal analog as well as digital in this video we are going to do digital signals we will be using them so basically mux is a kind of a circuit where there are many inputs and there is single output with the help of control pins we will be doing four is to one mux what does this mean this means that four input signals are applied to mux and out of them only one signal shall be uh, taken at the output which means actually there is a switching uh, action taking place inside the circuit at a time only one uh, one signal which is on the input can be taken on the output so that is determined with the help of control signals now uh, to find the number of control switches that will be used is like this in case of 4 is to 1 mux there are 4 inputs and we need single output so this can be done by taking log when we take log 4 to the base 2 that will be giving us the number of control switches so in this case when we take log 4 to the base 2 we get answer as 2 that means there will be 2 control switches these s0 and s1 and these are the uh, four input d0 d1 d2 and d3 so first of all when we start how actually it works is when my control signal is 0 0 like in this case which uh, which indicates decimal number as 0 which means input d0 now d0 will be reflected on the output now when i do 0 1 switching when i change the switching action from 0 0 to 0 1 which represents 1 therefore d1 shall be taken on the output in case of 1 0 it is 2 that is d2 will be taken on the output and in case of 1 1 which is equal to 3 in decimal uh, d3 signal shall be taken on the output so uh, we will be making a k map so this is how the k-map is now when we need d0 on the output our equation shall be s0 bar s1 bar and d0 for uh, for d1 it shall be s1 bar s0 d1 for d2 it will be s0 bar s1 and d2 for d3 it shall be s1 s0 d3 and together it will be added all these things now we shall be going to tinkercad to use this equation to derive our results before proceeding to tinkercad for our simulation and verifying our results we shall first discuss the real life applications of a multiplexer where exactly is mux used so first of all this kind of switching action is um, mainly used in case of a, a telephone exchange or telephone network kind of case uh, we see that there are multiple audio signals which are connected which are connected and integrated on a single line so at a time only one audio signal can be allowed to uh, reach the uh, recipients so in case in this case in case of telephone network or something like that we can use a multiplexer where there are many inputs coming to a particular uh, uh, let's say circuit but only one at a time can be permitted to be uh, taken on the output other thing is mux is used in computer memories like in our pcs in desktops laptops all these things so huge amount of memory can be uh, implemented with the help of mux at because mux is many to one and at a time only one uh, signal can be taken on the output so this actually reduces the copper lines required to connect the memory to other parts of circuit like let's say alu or registers all those things like so basically this uh, reducing copper line concept is uh, moreover used in case of pcb designing where tracks are extremely important so to like uh, make our circuit compact more effective and uh, faster than uh, faster and much more bit safer we use mux so we shall be starting with our simulation and verifying results on tinkercad so let's get back there 
So here we are on Tinkercad and let's start designing our circuit. Firstly, we will be needing a breadboard. This is our breadboard here. Then a power supply. This. We'll be connecting the power pins to this. As these are power lines, we will change the color, uh, color uh, from green to red and black for our these. Now what we can do is we can take this ground connection and also provide it down like this. We will change the color to black. Now we will be needing switches which will be control input and the four inputs. So these and again these. Let's connect it to plus VCC all these pins also now as per the convention that we are considering in this case this pin number 4 is S0 this is S1 ok and this is D0 D1 D2 and D3 so we will start taking logic gates IC 7404 this is inverter not gate then in this case as you see that we are having four terms with three variable in each we can rather prefer a three input and gate rather than a two input so uh, we will be taking 7411 which is 3 input and gate like this and like this and an OR gate to sum up all these terms OR gate sorry OR gate to sum up all these terms and an LED to see the output Every IC to operate needs this power pin and the ground pin to be connected respectively to plus VCC and ground. So we'll do that. So this is done, we will be connecting the cathode also to ground and a resistor here. Now comes the main part which is uh, connecting as per our equation. So what we can do is we can take this select uh, control switches and place it here for us to use it or the rest 4 pins. Now our first equation is S0 bar S1 bar D0. So this is S0. This goes to here. Output we get is S0 bar that will go to here. So input to it. This is S0 bar. This is S1 goes to input 2. Output we get from here is S1 bar. Let's change this color to something else. Let's keep it orange. Yellow. Orange. And yellow. To differentiate between S0 and S1. So uh, we need D0. So this is our D0. We are actually not make, uh, taking these down because all we need is one uh, one uh, pin at a time. So we can directly connect them like this. Like this. 
so this is so our first term is now ready at this output we will be taking this outputs later now comes our second one which is s0 s1 bar d1 so s0 is this so rather than going from now we will take this upwards so this is this we change the color to orange this is s0 the other term is s1 bar which is this one this we'll change the color to yellow and D1 which is this particular thing you can simply go like this this so like this we are having our second term now the third term is S0 bar S1 D2 S0 bar means this S0 bar is this and we will be taking it on this IC so from here we take a wire like this yeah this is S0 bar S0 bar S1 now S1 can be taken from here like this And D2, which is this particular wire, which can be also taken like this. So, here we are having the output, and the last one, which is S0, S1, and D3. So, straight easy connections. Change this color to yellow. This is S1. Let's start from this. zero. So we can do this. S0. S1. and D3 like this so now as we are uh, adding all these outputs ok this particular ground pin isn't connected so we will connect that for yeah sorry so out this output will be going to this input we we'll change the color to gray and this output will be going to this input the gray now this particular output will be an input to the next one The third one, which is this, will be an input over here. Now, this particular output will be an input to the next one, and the final term, which is this particular output, will be input to this one. And the final output of this OR gate will be given over here. Let's say grey color is fine. 
so now let's check whether a circuit is working fine or not so we click here on start simulation so yeah this is s0 this is s1 so when these are 0 0 and we uh, click on this pin see LED clear and now when I am taking this low and when I take any of other pins high nothing shall be reflected see no change similarly now see it glue this is 0 1 so this D1 pin uh, is high therefore LED glows now no matter whatever when this is low I take others high there shall be no difference at all see now the next one is 1 0 and now this one see it glue and in this case see again it turned off so yeah and now this LED is glowing so what we can conclude is as per the control inputs our circuit is working fine and thanks for being till here thank you so much for watching do like comment share subscribe and give me your valuable feedback in the comment section thank you for being till here thank you so much